What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to the last Photoshop tutorial of today. It's 5.30 which means the last video of today. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a picture look professional. So let's say you have, you have like a photo of something or some or someone or something and you want to make it look, look you want to make it look like really like it's professional and stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in Photoshop and actually two hours ago at you know 3.30 uh, p.m. PST I uploaded a video like how to intensify black and white images. Make sure to check out the video uh, if you haven't seen it yet. The link is in the description so I would say let's jump straight into the video okay so as you guys can see we're on photoshop again and this is the picture of the brz actually you know that i made a video about like i don't know like a few days ago i'm gonna show you guys how to make a professional you know like how to make this picture look like professional because as you guys can see i mean this is just like taken with a regular dslr camera and i'm gonna show you guys a few things you can apply to this picture to make it look um like professional so the first thing you want to do is actually want to add some brightness and contrast to it you simply want to go to image adjustments brightness and contrast it's me in dutch but you guys know what i'm saying you can mess around with the brightness you know as well if you want to have like this you know pictures taken at like an evening or something you can do it like this but i'm, I'm just gonna keep it on zero but you want to mess around with the contrast a bit like not a lot so i'm gonna show you guys i'm just gonna drag the contrast to the more to the right so it actually looks pretty good so this is too much as you guys can see the car is like nice bright blue and if i go to this you know it's getting dark again so this is too much so i'm gonna i'm gonna start from zero i'm gonna just drag it a little bit to the right so this looks pretty good actually. So that's the first thing. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to image adjustments and you want to pick color balance. You can actually see that you know you have all those three markers and you just want to mess around with like one at a time. So just, first of all I'm gonna you know move this one to the left and as you guys can see it's adding like this nice blue color like effect to it. And if you say like I want to have like a little bit, little bit more red, you know, in you know the picture, you can drag it to the right, as you guys can see. Uh, I would lose, I would like to keep the red on zero. Uh, you can also add a little pink, as you guys can see, and also a little green. Uh, you can also keep that on zero. But what I would recommend is, as you guys can see, the car is blue, so I would add a little blue as well, as you guys can see in the color balance. So it actually the car looks freaking insane so this is actually how i would apply it so i'm clicking on okay that looks pretty good as you guys can see this picture we want to make it look professional as you guys can see um, this is taken from a screenshot so don't say i'm a bad photographer i mean this is just taken from a, like a video i took like a screenshot so as you guys can see there's way too much space at the bottom you can also make this image bigger that's also a good idea so i'm just gonna go so i'm just gonna go select free transform like this and you want to hold shift so you will actually keep the same aspect ratio that it, instead of it's going all like this. So I'm just going to hold shift and I'm going to make it bigger until the car fits in the screen like this. This would be okay. As you guys can see, this picture looks way better, you know, than, you know, the one we had before, like with like with all the ground on it. This picture looks pretty professional. I mean, as you guys can see, they're like nice colors. You know, the contrast is nice. You know, there's no, too, there's, there's not too much ground on the picture. We have like a nice building on the background at the right, a nice tree. And, you know, the, the car is really nice and sharp. That is basically how you can make a picture, you know, look professional. So that's what's similar to this, guys. So you can just add a color balance. You can, you know, crop the image. That's really nice. It's awesome. You can also, you can apply more, like, different, you know, effects on it. So that is basically how it, you know, how, how it goes. There's nothing more to tell you. That is basically how you can make your image, you know, look um, professional, guys. So well, thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. I will see you guys actually tomorrow for two illustrated tutorials and on Sunday every two vlogs and then on Monday, you know, After Effects, OBS, all that kind of stuff. Actually, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, you, we will see LTAJ official tomorrow for two illustrated tutorials. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. It's me again. Um, I know I, have, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all that kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Uh, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner with Media Crowd. Let me explain. It's on the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.